A 75-year-old Morris ate that altered the course of this classic car restorer's life. Whatever I am today, if this car was not in my life, I would have been a different trade, different person. A car that's been a valuable member of the family for 50 long years. Whenever I drive it, it brings back my memories of my father. And a car that led to one man's lifelong obsession with the Morris brand. I've always been a Morris man. This is Maraspan Dada Chanji, a Parsi priest and classic car restorer. And this is his beloved 1948 Morris 8. It's the car that sparked his love for automobiles, the car that influenced his life and career, and the car that not only serves as his unofficial mascot, but is also a much-loved member of the family. So much so that in order to preserve its legacy, he's put another Morris into service. Launched in 1935, the Morris 8 was Britain's answer to the Ford Model Y. After the success of the Series 1 and 2, an updated version, the Series E, was launched in 1938. The car remained in production until 1948, and it's one such Morris 8 that made it to the Dada Chanji family 25 years after it rolled off the production line. It came home on the 1st of January, 1973. It's a sort of a birthday for our car. Our story begins in the early 70s, when Carver's Pocha had a dream in which a saint urged him to hand over the keys of his Morris 8 to the priest of the Parsi Fire Temple in Nagpur. The very next morning, he drove there and offered his car to the priest, Aspi Dada Chanji, Maraspan's father, who bought it for 4,500 rupees, the equivalent of 1,900 euros today. In the day it came, he took delivery and then went off for his wedding. He came back and started to learn driving with my mother next to him. My mother always said that they went for a few hours here and there. And within a few days, they left for the honeymoon in the Morris. They had gone to Jabalpur from Nagpur. And then life has been an adventure for the Morris, for my parents. It was the first of many road trips for the family car. It's in this Morris that the Dada Chanji stored the length and breadth of the country and beyond. Maraspan's father even drove it to Sri Lanka and back. And in true enthusiast fashion, every bit of the journey was documented. It says Colombo to Talemina. Colombo I don't know, all this is written. What all till till he reached Talemina, that is the tip of Sri Lanka. From there, uh, Talemina to Rameshwaram was in the uh, ferry. And then Rameshwaram to Mandapam was in the train. This Morris 8 is also the car in which Maraspan discovered his love for driving fast, keeping his right foot pinned over the approximately 1,500 kilometers between Mumbai and Delhi. That was the first time my father interested me with his car to drive so long without him. Me and my friend were wanting to cover Delhi in uh, three days, over three days. So the first day uh, we covered uh, nearly to Udaipur. Okay. The second day we were supposed to do Udaipur, Jaipur. But I was so charged up that we did Udaipur, Delhi in that second day itself. And had it not been for this Morris 8, Maraspand wouldn't have stumbled into the profession of classic car restoration. The first car I did was my Morris 8. Of course, I knew what an original car was and what my father had done, so we undid all of that. My observation, my intuition was there, so I could figure out somehow that this is original and this is not. Maraspan's come a long way since that first project. 
He gained recognition for restoring Amir Ali Jetha's 1935 Rolls Royce Phantom II, which once belonged to the Maharaja of Jodhpur. The car won the Maharaja class and the Lucius BB award at Pebble Beach in 2018. I was very very fortunate that I got a chance to do Amir's car. Yeah. You know, whoever would have done it would have had the chance to get that recognition. Now his workshop is full of unusual machines in various states of completion, like this Wayman bodied Lagonda, which he restored from the ground up. This is a 32-33 two-liter supercharged Lagonda. The speciality about this is it's a fabric body. And this Adler Trump, which is now awaiting his attention. It's a very original, complete car. Though it might look scary to the uninitiated. All the machines in his workshop await his special touch. A little something Maraspan refers to as Kimyu. Kimyu means magic. It's sort of a trick or a knack okay. to get it right. It's this magic or knack that Maraspand applies to all the cars he restores, including this 1951 Morris Minor that he's built for touring. Like most car restorers of repute, he's a purist. But this is the exception to the rule. It looks exactly the way a 1951 Minor ought to look, but under the hood, it's a different story. I wanted to put a Morris engine in it, but of a later year, or two decades newer, of the 70s. It has the same engine as an MG Midget. The upgraded engine gives him a power figure of around 72 kilowatts. And there are more changes too. Upgraded it to a five-speed gearbox and put in disc brakes because then it is safer. The reason behind the more powerful iteration, Maraspand likes blowing away the traffic on cross-country drives and also likes keeping up with the other more powerful cars on their classic car tours. Since it's a car built for touring, he's modified it to allow for the odd creature comfort. Because we roam across and it becomes quite hot, so I was looking up the net and we found this electric AC. If it doesn't fit on the engine, it runs independent of the engine. Of course, the aircon vents are hidden to make sure the car looks true to period. Although he's added a couple of extra dials to monitor the more powerful engine. And while Maraspand enjoys going as fast as the Morris Minor will allow him, there's a poignant reason that he's built this machine. And it has to do with his first automotive love, that 1948 Morris 8. It has always been my Morris 8, my iron horse and our family car. And I, with eyes shut, I can trust that car. It will take me A to B, never ever let me down. Okay. Except on one occasion. But after the death of his father, Maraspand is keen on preserving the car that holds the family legacy. Whenever I drive it, it brings back my memories of my father. The car was an extension of his identity. It's for this reason that the car occupies pride of place in the Dada Chanji household. This ramp is where the cars go in and into the house. So when we open the, those gates, and we drive it in. And then four months of the monsoon, they are inside. We, I, I move them up and down inside the house. And he credits this Morris with the course his life has taken. Whatever I am today, if this life, if this car was not in my life, I would have been a different trade, different person. Fortunately though, the Morris 8 is in Maraspan's life, resulting in an unbreakable bond with the car and also with the Morris mark. After all, as he says... I've always been a Morris man. And by the looks of it, a Morris man he always shall remain. Want more videos about classic cars? Subscribe to DW Rev.